Hi everyone, I'm Ranger Kelly. I've been hearing some of my younger campers say that telling the difference between area and perimeter can be a little tricky sometimes. I have a story for you that happened right here at Camp Golden Sun. I think it's really going to help clear things up. Jacob and Jeremy were so excited to be on a camping trip with their parents and their dog, Ruffers. They had set up their very own tent right outside the family camper as soon as they arrived. That evening, they played fetch, visited the lake, and roasted marshmallows. Mm. Ruffer's favorite part of the evening was chasing the cute little bunny he found by the shore. Every morning, I like to come around and check on my campers. Where is everyone? Still asleep? Whoa! That woman came out of nowhere. <sighs> Help me, Ranger Kelly. My boys have fled the campsite. They woke up and found their tent door wasn't closed all the way. Their dog <laughs> rubbers must have slipped out because he's missing. Don't worry, I've got a plan. Hello, friendly camper. I need your help finding a missing dog. A missing dog? Oh no! Howdy, camper. Can you help us locate a missing dog named Ruffy? Yes, of course. As soon as I finish my lakeside yoga. Hello there, boys. Could you please assist in our canine search? Sure thing. Yupper! What a cute bunny. With everyone gathered, we were ready for my plan. The campground is split into four clear sections. The first part of my plan was for all the campers to split up and cover the area of the campground. Did you hear that? Area. You can see my plan to cover the area of the campground was working pretty well. We can find the area of a square or rectangle when we multiply the length times the width. Say it with me. Area equals length times width. Each little square of my cute little campground represents one square kilometer. Pause the video, work with a partner to find the area of one of the sections of the campsite. Now, pause the video again. Talk with your classmates. Can you find the area of the whole campsite? Section A, we can multiply four times four and get 16 square kilometers. Section B, we can multiply five times four and get 20 square kilometers. Section C, we can multiply nine times three and get 18 square kilometers. And section D, we can multiply six times two and get 12 square kilometers. If we find the sum of all of these, we get 66 square kilometers. That's a lot of area that those campers covered. 
while everyone was searching the area, I decided to walk the perimeter of the campsite. Did you hear that? I said perimeter. To find the perimeter, you must add together all of the sides. Say it with me. Perimeter equals the sum of all the sides. Remember, each side of each square represents one kilometer. Follow the arrows that show where I went as I walked the perimeter. Record the measurements on a paper or whiteboard to find the perimeter with me. Pause the video. I'll wait while you get your supplies ready. Eleven kilometers. I'm feeling my leg muscles working. Six kilometers. Those mountains are beautiful. Two kilometers. That wasn't too bad. One kilometer. I'm surprised I haven't found the dog yet. Nine kilometers. Are we there yet? I need my water bottle. <sighs> Seven kilometers. There's no Ruffy in the front of the campground. Did you write all the links? Eleven kilometers, six kilometers, two kilometers, one kilometer, nine kilometer, and seven kilometers? Remember, to find the perimeter, you need to add the length of the sides together. Pause the video. I'll wait. 11 plus 6 plus 2 plus 1 plus 9 plus 7 equals 36 kilometers. Wow! I walked the perimeter 36 kilometers. No wonder I'm kind of tired. Ranger Kelly decides to go and check on Jacob and Jeremy at their campsite. That's when she saw Ruffy. I guess my plan of covering the area and walking the perimeter was a success. Someone found him out by the lake playing with that bunny again. I think covering the area with everyone was fun. This time I want to do it with Ruffy. I want to chase rabbits. Yeah, we'll leave walking the 36 kilometer perimeter to you. Teachers, if you enjoyed this video, please check the description for linked products in my Whimsical Teacher Tube Teacher Store, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Created using Powtoon.